We're the first hospital-based air ambulance service that has both the crew member and pilot using night vision goggles uh, in the state of Florida. First Flight's been around for 20 years now. We've not had a fatal accident in the history of the program. Anything we do safety-wise is also going to help that patient because it's not going to put him in any more danger than he's already in. We only normally go out on, on calls that are serious. There's either been a bad accident, there's been a shooting, there's been a stabbing, uh, been a drowning, uh, things like this. Our time frame is to get them to the hospital uh, to a trauma surgeon where they can be within that golden hour to preserve uh, their life. And from the time we're dispatched, we have five minutes to get into the helicopter, actually get out on the pad and lift within five minutes. Um, we pride ourselves in that five minutes. Brevard County is 73 miles long approximately. So you have people in the northern part of the county that are seriously injured. Holmes Regional Medical Center is the only trauma center in Brevard County. So the transport time could be up to an hour where it might take us 15 minutes. We encounter in this area many areas that are very rural and dark and having night vision goggles makes it as if you're flying in the daytime. The night vision goggles have provided us a tremendous amount of safety in, in enabling us to do our job. We have an area that we fly to, typically the southwest area of our, our zone. We tenderly call it the, the black hole. Uh, previous to the night vision goggles, it was extremely dark out there. Now we can see areas that uh, in the event of any issues that we had, if we had to make a landing or when we reach the LZs, we can see the ground a lot more effectively with the night vision goggles. The reason that we have the night vision goggles is it's a recommendation of the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration from past accidents, most of the accidents in the EMS have been at night. In about the last three or four years, the aircraft numbers have really increased. The accident rate has increased proportionally with the number of helicopters that are out there now. We are up in the air. We've got to look for airplanes. We've got to look for uh, birds. Uh, we've got to look for uh, any obstacles, towers, things like this. These things have all caused accidents in the past. With the night vision goggles from a thousand feet, we can see all the trees, we can see all the vehicles, we can see the people walking around. Health First has partnered with Metro Aviation in uh, obtaining these through the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Defense. So they're the latest uh, military spec goggles uh, available. It's amazing that we've flown as long as we have without those. It, it truly is. The material and equipment that we carry on this aircraft is uh, second to none and it enables us to really do a tremendous amount of work uh, for, for some really sick people.